Now, underwater flying might sound like a contradiction in terms, but when the person doing the flying also happens to be strapped into a wheelchair, you know you're witnessing something incredible. Sue Austin is an artist and wheelchair user who's trying to challenge prejudices about disability by diving and dancing under the sea. Our culture editor, Matthew Kane, has been to meet her. Graceful, balletic and beautiful. This is what happens when contemporary dance meets the kind of futuristic machine you might find in a Bond film. This must be underwater love. It is, in fact, the world's first self-propelled underwater wheelchair, operated by artist Sue Austin. She took it to the Red Sea to shoot this film and has now brought it home to Dorset to rehearse a series of live performances. I've parachuted three times and that's the closest thing because it is like flying underwater. For me, if this wheelchair, this power chair, gives me freedom on line to zip around and have fun and you know run up behind people and be mischievous in the water that sense of loop because I loop the loop and I go into these and it's just pushing it and playing I feel so joyful and so like I've moved into another dimension Sue Austin began using a wheelchair on land in 1996 when an illness left her with muscle problems. Over the last few years, she's been working with a team of experts to create her new underwater wheelchair. The end product uh, is what you see now, which is two hydrofoils made from acrylic attached to the foot plate. These will go up and down and give Sue up and down movement through the water. We have the power buttons here either side these are connected underneath to the two propellers which are underneath at the back these allow Sue to press them with her legs and that gives her the propulsion through the water to give her buoyancy in the water we have a dive wing on the back which is connected to two cylinders this inflates gives the wheelchair buoyancy <laughs> Later this month, poolside spectators in Dorset will be joined by a specially trained underwater audience to watch a series of performances Sue has called Creating the Spectacle. But despite its title, this piece of work isn't just about creating a spectacle. It's also about changing perceptions and challenging us to think of the NHS wheelchair not as a symbol of limitation, but as a tool for release and freedom. As well as Sue's performances in Portland, the film she shot in the Red Sea will be shown at London's Southbank Centre. It all forms part of the London 2012 Festival's Unlimited programme, a series of cultural events intended to complement the Paralympic Games. Sue's work is about the creation of beauty, uh, but it's also about the, the notion that uh, people have powers of whatever their disability, uh, to, to, to make something special and beautiful, uh, uh, which is absolutely what all the unlimited commissions are about. But as well as combating stereotypes about the wheelchair, working on the project has also led Sue to a deeper understanding of her own identity as a wheelchair user, an identity she wasn't expecting to inhabit. People think it's a state of less than, but for those in the know, the processes that you go through to cope with the situations you deal with, you actually end up in a much more enhanced psychological, mental, physical, emotional state. Not everyone, because it's a very risky, difficult journey because of those stereotypes. But that process of transformation can completely empower. Creating the Spectacle opens at the Osprey Leisure Centre on the 29th of August. So far, those who've seen rehearsals have expressed their amazement at the wheelchair's capabilities. Some have even said that they want to have a go themselves. Perhaps the ultimate sign that their expectations have been challenged. Matthew Kane, Channel 4 News, Portland. Wouldn't you just love to try it?